Hello everyone, my name is Jaybird and I've got a tutorial here today on different types of building materials and some ideas for different starter houses that you can make in Vintage Story. And I'm just going to go over like this overview. Uh, no matter where you spawn, you should have some of these over there. Okay, so starting we've got wood. Wood is something that you need in order to progress in this game, like from the start. So you should be able to find this pretty easily. I don't have all the variants, of course, but uh, maple logs and oak logs and the pine logs tend to be the ones uh, that I find the most when I play. So I put those there. I don't have these in a particular order either. I've also got the sandstone fencing, sandstone cobblestone block and slab. And then I've got the stair variants and that's the same for any cobblestone i'll actually i'll show you quickly just the recipe for that because that might be helpful uh, which is you just take any stone and you put it eight of that around one piece of clay in the center and you'll get some of it so we've got the cobblestone and this is just some this one the granite you'll often find in ruins as well which you can mine with your bare hands i'm in creative mode so just completely uh, get obliterated and sent into a void uh, of space when i when i click on it so I can't demonstrate it now, but then packed dirt is another one and cob is also one as you can see over here There's cob. Uh, it looks like this. It's not as pretty, but you could use it for pathing or flooring um, And then these two work quite well as starter building blocks as well Then we've got light mud bricks dark mud bricks and dark mud brick slabs. There is no light mud brick slab variant unfortunately, but uh, We do what we do with what we've got and then we've got stone paths and stone path slabs and stone path stairs i'll just quickly uh, i'll show you with this one how that one would be made and it's simple you just have a stone of some sort and you have that on top of any soil type and then it would be uh, a similar thing for the other two ones uh, you'll find their recipes in the survival handbook quite easily uh, they're just a little bit different and then we've got our roofing we've got hay roofing of different types over here this would be the the thatch roofing and we've got hay which you can use as doors i'm sure many of you already know that and then we've got the stacked bamboo and the different bamboo roofing which you can use if you end up in a place where there is a lot of bamboo moving on to the first house i've got what i've used for this one in here i used arid packed dirt i used packed dirt just the normal one which is a bit darker i used maple logs and thatch roof tips slanted thatch roofing and slanted thatch roofing and i could have used the acacia on the inside for this as well but this is just a little bit of an african style hut which is nice because it's on my continent and so i'm going to just go in here there's not a lot of space but for the most part it's fine and you don't have to worry about the holes it just gives it even more of that rural kind of a um, surviving out in africa kind of a feel to it and then you've got the um of course you've got this beam in the middle which i just thought it didn't look quite structurally stable without the beam so that's why i've got that inside of there and most african huts do have a pole in the middle um, and it's not it's not too big you might have to have several of these or bigger ones uh, for your different needs but this is something i would consider even like making a little village or something and living in it in the long run in game as well uh, probably the first thing you decided to try and build after a dirt hut and that is a log cabin so this isn't the most aesthetic build i have ever made uh, it's definitely uh i it's not it's not it's not the prettiest on the inside or the outside and there's barely any space this looks like more of a I would change this into a work shed and put my tools and whatnot all around here. It will cost a lot more materials. Uh, this is just the, the pine logs uh, and it will cost a lot more grass as well. So if you don't have a scythe, the grass will cost quite uh, a lot of time as well. And you can see that the roof, um, it doesn't look quite uh, great from just straight on. It looks a little bit, uh, a little bit weird. But if you look at it from most other angles, it looks fine and it kind of slants around a bit instead of just going straight up and over. And then I've got the different uh, path blocks here again as well. So all I used for this one is the thatch roofing that's slanted, the thatch roofing ridge, um, and then stone paths, stairs, and the pine logs. Right, and the third build 
is a tower. I'll quickly show you what I used for this one. This is this one uses the most um, building blocks by far. Bamboo roofing. Uh, this would be an example of something you could make if you spawn in an area where there is a lot of bamboo. Bamboo roofing, the outer corner, and then we've got the normal slanted one. And then we have a tip because it's a tower. So in the center, we need one of these. Granite cobblestone and granite cobblestone slabs. We've got dark mud bricks and dark mud brick slabs. And then we've got light mud bricks and stone path slabs and stone path. And finally, we have wooden ladder. So wooden ladders are also easy to make. They are the same recipe as a Minecraft um, wooden ladder with sticks, which is basically, I'll just show you quickly. You can see it's just like this, or you can use the boards as well. I don't know if that does anything different. And over here we have the tower. So just coming around the outside, you can see that uh, I've done quite a bit more work on this one than the others. And you can see the... I've used the slabs for the dark mud brick around the edges and I've used it sticking out up over here by the uh, windows. That's also where I've used it. And you can see the bamboo roofing up there and it looks like a nice little outpost kind of a thing. Um, and it's, it's the same dimensions as, for the most part, as what the mud house over there is, the mud hut, but it's two stories high this time. So if I go inside, you can see the dimensions are pretty much exactly the same as the, the mud hut, except that we've got a ladder and a second story. So this is something that you could even do with the mud hut if you wanted to be a little bit more fantastical with it, and you could do that. And then this flooring under here is also the dark mud brick slabs, and I've got a dark mud brick pillar with the light mud brick on the outside. And I've obviously got my cobblestone down around over here, on the inside a, a lot of this was just adding extra things on around there around it just to make it look a little bit nicer and add some more depth to it especially by the base i think that came out quite well and it gives it a nice solid grounded look and then you could take this underground for a three-story type thing with the cellar as well if you wanted and now for the one you've been waiting for but before that i just want to say thank you so much to everybody who has uh, been supporting me this last week. I have already gotten way more views on this, these videos than I thought I would. Um, as of right now, I'm almost at 100 views on the adding chiseling to your builds video that I've made, and the other ones are also fairly high. And I, I just want to thank you all so much. Um, nine of you guys have subscribed to me as of right now, and I'm just, I'm, it's, it's just, it was, it's amazing. I, I don't know how to express my gratitude other than. I suppose making more videos for you guys so i want to i want to thank you all so much for that um anyways to the last and final build now this one is something that you could make if you found enough clay and you happened to be in a very deserty biome so you can see uh, because these require eight stone and then they require the clay you put the clay in the center the stone around and then you can get some very very nice different things here now this looks something almost out of star wars they actually do have houses like these in real life the star wars tatooine um huts uh which this is semi inspired by are actual places in real life so you can see as you come in it's not massive it's it doesn't look cramped it looks quite airy and that's possibly because i've sunk it down by about half a slab here so or half a block not half a slab and Doing that just it gives it another another like kind of a feel to it, which is quite nice. And then the only thing that could maybe get in here because of that is rules, but you guys you guys know how to fortify yourselves, I'm sure. And then nothing can get in the windows because they're half slabs. And then half slabs. I keep saying half slabs. They're half blocks. They're slabs. Normal slabs or a half block. I need to drill that into myself. This hole. The idea with this was to put down some ladders and go down, but. There's about three blocks underneath the ground here that I can use before I get to void and then uh, I need to come back up and I can't build under the void. So that's just the one thing is I do have to, uh, I, I can't show that quite right here, but you guys could get the idea. You guys are quite creative. You guys are welcome to subscribe if you feel like it. If not, don't worry about it. Um, you can always watch my videos whether or not you're subscribed. I do have a couple of other videos on chiseling and adding chiseling to your builds. So if you want to go check those out and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.